All right, welcome back to Pharmacist On Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, your community pharmacist. We're gonna get right back into your calls. We've got Evangeline. Welcome to Pharmacist On Call. How may we help you? Evangeline. Hi there, Hi there. I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I had a question about an anti-inflammatory that I'm taking. Yes, ma'am. It's a diclofenac. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sodium, I believe, is the second word. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. That is correct. Well, there's actually a potassium version as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe mine is sodium. Diclofenac sodium, 75 milligram. Yes, ma'am. Um, twice a day. And then I'm also taking baclofen. Okay. Um, 20 milligram twice a day for some uh, uh, inflammation and just, you know, just pain, you know, in general that I've been having. That The rheumatologist is trying to figure out, you know, why I'm having the pain, but um, I'm a, a new patient there. And, uh, where, where, so where is the pain in particular, ma'am? Mostly my joints. Okay. And did they and, uh, have they? My, my question is, okay. I've been. Go ahead. I've been taking uh, this diclofenac and the baclofen for like two to three months now, I'd say. Yes, ma'am. And uh, wasn't having any trouble at first, you know, any any side effects that I noticed at all. It just was helping the pain. But um, I don't know the last few days, I've been. Diarrhea, and I, I did see that it was one of the side effects. I, you know, I read about it, and um, I, you know, I at first I just thought, oh well, it's just my stomach. It's just something. You know, what I'm saying I thought I had some kind of something, but now I'm starting to think maybe because I've been taking the diclofenac for a few months now, maybe it's starting to build up where it's making me have the diarrhea, but I didn't have it at first, and also just very bad bloated in your oh. in your belly area oh yes hmm all right so how long was it between the time you started the diclofenac and then you noticed the side effect of diarrhea well like I said a while ago um, I uh, Was your month two months three months yeah See, I've been taking it like two or three months, and I've only been having the diarrhea for a week or less now. Okay. I would think you would have experienced a side effect um, like that probably sooner. Uh, so let's give it a couple of more days, and then if it continues, yeah, then we can probably associate it with that. Now the bloating uh, is another piece. So is your stomach kind of tender? Or it just no, fe feels it's really it's full? It's not tender at all. It just feels really full? Yes. Okay. How about your appetite? Normal. Okay, normal. Okay. Okay, you may have to draw a little blood on you, make sure it's not uh, you know, affecting your liver or anything. You've been feeling nauseous or anything like that? No, not really. Okay. I mean, uh, I've been going to work every day, and I've been very grateful that, it, you know, I'm able to work through the day without having to run to the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. But I notice when I, you know, I get home at night and I have my supper, then, I don't know, wait maybe an hour or so, and here we go again. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready to clean house. Okay. Yeah. Has anything changed over the last week? Like you're drinking a different beverage or you're eating a new food? No. Okay. Yeah, I'd give that one a little more time uh, before we, you know, necessarily blame it on the drug. Uh, so, yeah, I'd say if, if it's been a week or so, or a week or more, then yeah, maybe we can look at diclofenac. It does cause stomach disturbances, uh, but diarrhea without the stomach pain, I would not think. I think you would experience the stomach pain first. 
I just uh, I thought, well, my goodness, is it just that you build up uh, so much in your system and then all of a sudden you get diarrhea? Because I'm thinking I didn't get it at first. But okay, can I ask you one more thing? Yes, the, ma'am. Uh, alkaline, alkaline water that you have. Yes, ma'am. About how about how much does it cost? Uh, roughly, if you have your own container, it's two dollars for every gallon that your container holds. Uh, if you buy a gallon from us, it's three dollars per gallon. Uh, so, and then you bring it back for a refill, and it becomes two dollars. We also sell large containers because we have a number of people that come from uh, outlying areas of Nashville, so they buy, you know, up, we have seven, up to seven gallon containers. Uh, so we we sell quite a bit of it that way too. But if you just want the individual gallons, yeah, three dollars. Okay, and the seven gallon would cost how much? I think that seven gallon is like 20 something and then it would be 14 to fill it up each time. So 14 times two, sorry, seven gallons times two dollars a gallon is 14 bucks. So that'd be a one time fee for the container. And then uh, of course, you know, the 14 for the water itself each time to refill it. It sounds like it's something that would be very helpful though. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your help. I really enjoy your show right. and, and appreciate your service to the community yes, by doing ma'am. this. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, bye bye. And also, while we're on the uh, the water there, uh, our patients who have acid reflux and living in the South, I'm sure there are a number of you. Uh, this water, because it is alkaline, will neutralize that hydrochloric acid and almost instantly relieve the acid reflux. A number of people have come off of those proton pump inhibitors that you're hearing about in the news, causing so many side effects. Water, good old fashioned water, reduces the acid. Those of you suffering from gout, it reduces the uric acid in your joints. When you wake up in the morning, that big toe is on fire, you drink some of that Kangen water, within a day, it will help relieve your gout. And you probably won't even have it anymore along with the water and some diet and lifestyle modifications. Uh, I did want to, since we were talking about opioid epidemic and all that, uh, there is another drug that is out there, and it's an illicit drug, it's not necessarily, necessarily prescription. Uh, just wanted to talk about a little bit, it's called Molly. And uh, you're probably hearing about it now. Madonna's talked about it, Kanye, uh, some of your current rappers, Future in particular. Um, you know, Molly is a big thing now. So what it is, if you hear the kids talking about it, it's pretty much speed, it's meth. I think the chemical name is 3,4-methylene uh, dioxy in amphetamine, I believe. Uh, so you all know what crystal meth does. Uh, you all know how addictive it is, uh, but this thing's killing a lot of people out here. I've lost patients, lost a patient to it. Also lost a patient out here uh, who bought some of the Percocet off the street that is actually butorphanol, which is um, the fentanyl, I'm sorry, the fentanyl patches. Uh, so it contains fentanyl instead of oxycodone and acetaminophen. Uh, so certainly if you're out there and you are battling substance abuse and you can't get into your doctor to get something like a Suboxone or Bunivale, don't turn to the drugs on the street because you're not buying what you think you're getting. And these drugs are so strong, so fentanyl is so strong, comes in patch form. This is something that needs to be released slowly over time. When you take this tablet, you're getting a big whoosh of that fentanyl. This is a drug that's meant for people dying from cancer. So this is how strong this thing is. It can shut off your breathing. It does shut off your breathing. It will shut off your breathing. And there are a number of young people and adults uh, who are dying out there. So those of you who you know, are turning to this, to, as, a, as a way to, uh, you know, come off your pain meds, not a good idea. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are resources um, out there that are cost prohibitive, uh, and I'm not sure what the healthcare bill is gonna, gonna look like for people dealing with substance abuse issues, but certainly heroin, Molly, Percocet, things you probably wanna stay away from. If you think you're hooked now with just pain pills, you're gonna be even worse off with those, because these things can kill you. Um, now, I just wanted to finish up with the water and the beetroot juice, uh, pretty important. Now, we talk about, about how the wa a lot about how the water is alkaline and how it helps the body on the inside. Well, we also have beauty water, which is a pH of 6.0, an optimal pH for the skin and the hair to be healthy, uh, hair to grow and the skin to be healthy is beauty water, it's 6.0. And so we're really um, educating people about 
being healthy on the inside and the outside comes in a little spray uh, and it firms and tones the skin, it moisturizes so you can wash your face, you know, as you normally do with your cleanses or whatever, and then you spray the beauty water on afterwards or you can wash your hair in it to keep your skin and your hair the optimal pH. So uh, when you come into the Congo Water Store, ask about beauty water and uh, buy some of that as well. Um, we're coming up on another break here, so you all sit right there. We'll be right back. <laughs> 